with all the violent crime in Baltimore, the city is weighing whether to bring back a controversial surveillance plane. It drew heavy criticism back in 2016. A lot of that initial concern appeared to surface at tonight's City Council public hearing. It was a tale of two sides inside Baltimore City Council chambers Tuesday. If you are the public safety, the public safety committee, my friend, man, do the right thing, champ. Uh, just an absurd level of big brotherism and um, an invasion of people's privacy. This is completely nuts. A heated back and forth centered on the surveillance plane that took flight in 2016 over Baltimore, at first without residents' knowledge. Outrage and concern over privacy exploded. Spying, that's what it is. Spying on people in their home. The founder of the Ohio company that operates the privately funded plane came to Baltimore to make his case Tuesday night. When people see what we do, they can actually see it, and most of the time they say, is that all? That's what we're worried about. Council members grilled him over cost, effectiveness, curbing crime, and who had access to the data. We put it in top secret safes and store it away. Councilman Brandon Scott and chair of the committee made a point to say it's ultimately the mayor's decision whether to start the program back up. We can't have it both ways. You can't say that the council shouldn't have any authority over it and then want us to have authority over it when it's convenient uh, for political cover. If the city restarts the program, the company says the same private donor would be willing to foot the $1.6 million cost.